Hello, and welcome to our annual Academic Awards Night. This is a ceremony that honors our best and brightest. From students who have excelled on the SAT, to those flourishing throughout our academic programs, and alumni who have gone on to do such spectacular things that their names are worthy of being honored in the halls of Gloucester High forever. This is truly a celebration for our entire community. I hope you enjoy the ceremony. It is a great honor that I get to present the award for Gloucester High School Teacher of the Year. Let me share with you a paragraph from the nomination form that was submitted on behalf of this excellent educator. Aside from her brilliance in the classroom, this teacher is a steady guiding force in the lives of her students, not only in ninth grade, but throughout high school. The transition from middle school to high school is often difficult for adolescents, but she is at her classroom door every day for her present and former students with a warm greeting or a stern reminder to get their work done. Her students thrive in her care because her expectations are clear, her standards are high, and her devotion is complete. At the recent National Honor Society induction, three of the 16 senior members selected this teacher for their pinning, a ceremony in which students select a teacher who has had a profound influence on their growth. In one reflection, a student stated, this teacher believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you our Gloucester High School Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Mary Ellen Kearns. Hello, thank you to Dr. Vespi and Mr. Gorman for continuing this tradition, honoring your hard work. While I would much rather be looking out, seeing your faces, this will have to do. Please know the entire Gloucester community is proud of your drive, determination, and dedication. Success is hard work. What I challenge you to remember is what it took for you to get to this point. While the path can be fast, short, and easy, more times than not in life, the path is rocky, long, and difficult. Think about the challenges you faced and overcame. That is why we are celebrating you. While it may sometimes be difficult, Remember that anything worth doing is worth doing well. Again, congratulations on all of your achievements. Now let us celebrate another amazing educator as this year's recipient of our Education Services Professional of the Year. Here is what one of her colleagues had to say about her in their nomination. I enthusiastically nominate my colleague for the Governor's Educational Services Professional of the Year Award. She has been a school nurse for 20 years and the nurse at Gloucester High School for 15 of those. She has a rapport with the students like no other staff member. Her office is a warm and welcoming haven for kids who are feeling ill of body and heart. Everyone adores her because she is genuinely the nicest, kindest person they have ever known. Her perfect balance of medical expertise and a mother's love is often a daily gift for our most vulnerable students. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor to introduce to you Gloucester High School's Educational Professionals Services Provider of the Year, Mrs. Linda Stewart. I want to thank you for this honor, but truthfully, I share this award with the entire GHS staff, students, families, and our community. I believe our current situation, the coronavirus pandemic, has made it even more evident how our school and community work together to care for one another. The staff are my eyes in the classrooms, hallways, gyms, and cafeteria. Students alert me to their health concerns and allow me to care for them during the school day. 
parents trust that I will provide the appropriate treatment and communicate any concerns or suggestions for follow-up. Our community supplies a network of resources that allow me to share with students and families additional care providers. I congratulate everyone on their efforts. I am proud to share this award with you today. We are all outstanding educational service providers. Thank you. And now, our freshmen who have made the academic honor roll each of the first three marking periods. Ronnie L. Baluya. Wade Billings. Abigail Bink. Manahill Chaudhry, Ashea Clark, Gianna Evans, Liam Gorman, Skylar Holmes, Sabrina Hughes, Shahab Khan. Gianna Ludlum, Katrina Mastrangelo, Chignis McKnight. Ruben Panero, David Rimasitis, Caitlin Rodnamowski. Vanessa Smith, Jushapa Taimi, Emma Vinci. And now, our sophomores who made the academic honor roll each of the first three marking periods. Emily Garten. Destiny Bartley. Danica Bennett Peyton Carr
Abdul Chaudhry. Aiden Coglin. Esmeralda Herrera Morales. Sadia Islam. Ansley Lees Pratt. Riley Marcheski. Michael Morell. Nathan Phillips. Julian Ramos Mendez. Michaela Renzi. Danielle Roberts. Sami Shabus. Ashley St. Clair. Catherine Suarez. Myasia Sultana. Shamaya Thomas. Tai Vu Madison Wall. JC Wagner.
Josh Wilkie. Trevor Young. Congratulations to all our sophomore honor roll students. Every year, we induct graduates who have gone on to accomplish incredible achievements beyond the walls of Gloucester High School into our Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. Throughout the past 14 years, we've celebrated community leaders, physicians, nationally acclaimed journalists, engineers, a county sheriff, a White House liaison, and many more. All of these great men and women led lives of purpose and have given a great deal back to their communities. This year's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame inductees have truly made the ultimate sacrifice for our community and our country, and will be remembered as heroes to all Lions forever. Please welcome Navy ROTC Cadet Master Chief Sebastian Smith. We also felt that it was only fitting that we connect our Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame inductions this year to the greatest levels of service and valor that the JROTC program looks to instill in our young men and women across the country. The following community members gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country as they were killed in action from World War I to present time. Their names and spirits will be celebrated on the walls of Gloucester High forever. Please take a moment to recognize and honor these heroes as their names are displayed here today. As with all Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame inductees, a plaque has been installed at Gloucester High School, honoring the fallen heroes of Gloucester City, ensuring their names and their sacrifice will never be forgotten. This year, Gloucester High was proud and honored to open a Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps program for the first time ever at Gloucester High. Several cadets that met specific criteria were nominated for awards to various organizations that are enormous supporters of our military and our NROTC and NJROTC programs. Additional cadets were nominated for these organizational awards, however, due to our current crisis, only a couple were received so far and are being awarded today. Several other deserving cadets will be awarded their awards formally as they arrive at Gloucester High. Hi, Chief Lubensky here. Today I am honored to have the opportunity on behalf of the Surface Navy Association and Gloucester High School to recognize two deserving cadets 
with the Stephen Decatur Leadership Award. Each year, a freshman and sophomore are recognized for demonstrating the Navy Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment, and also by showing outstanding leadership potential. This year, the Freshman Stephen Decatur Award goes to Cadet Petty Officer 3rd Class Wade Billings. Wade will receive a certificate from the Surface Navy Association and he is auth also authorized to wear the leadership ribbon from the Surface Navy Association. Congratulations, Wade. And the sophomore Stephen Decatur Award goes to Cadet Petty Officer, third class, Kevin Breckow. Congratulations, Kevin. Yours is basically the same award with the same certificate, but the sophomore award gets a ribbon that you, uh, a medal that you can wear with your service dress blues once you're uh, able to wear them, once you earn those. So congratulations to the both of you. I look forward to getting back to work and continuing to build our outstanding program and unit. Bravo Zulu, guys. Good job. And now, our juniors who have made the academic honor roll in each of the first three marking periods. Ocean Alam. Meadow Avant. Sage Barker. Thomas Billings. Sarah Bonney. Chris Castro. Rachel Chen. Bailey Johnson. Shannon Johnson. Emily Keith. Joshua Cuts. Thomas Ortiz. Tyler Pulley. Melissa Ritchie. Dylan Rondomansky.
Cameron Rodero. Alex Zhang. I will now introduce our senior honor roll students. Andrea Baker. Cheryl Baker. Stephanie Barton. Kelsey Brown. Brandon Cancel. Nicholas Sarasso. Zachary Collins. Darren Cooney. Chelsea Detono. Thomas Donahue. Jessica Elder. Megan Ferry. Ashley Markowitz. Alicia McCleary. Stephanie McCulligan. Sebastian Paradise. AJ Parent Vanessa Pino
Adriana Pintor. Randy Terwilliger. Congratulations, seniors. Hello, Lions and friends. I am Sarah Finley, the assistant principal at Gloucester High School and it is my privilege to acknowledge several special groups of honored students as a part of our 2020 Academic Awards presentation. Our first group is the SAT 600 Reading Club. These students have achieved a score of 600 or better on the reading section of the SAT. Thomas Billings, Rachel Chen, Joseph DeLuca, Shannon Johnson, Emily Keith, Melissa Ritchie, and Cameron Ruttero. Congratulations to our SAT 600 Reading Club. Our next group is the SAT 600 Math Club. These students have achieved a score of 600 or better on the math section of the SAT. Thomas Billings, Rachel Chen, Christopher Castro, Melissa Ritchie, Cameron Ruttero, and Jason Yang. Congratulations to our SAT 600 Math Club. I will now introduce Gloucester High's AP Scholars for the 2019-2020 school year. The Advanced Placement Program enables willing and academically prepared students to pursue college level studies while still in high school. To qualify as an AP Scholar, senior students must have enrolled in a minimum of three Advanced Placement courses, while juniors and sophomores must have enrolled in a minimum of two Advanced Placement courses. Our AP Scholars for this year are Sophomores Atlantis Alpheus, Danica Bennett, Stephen Burkhart, Peyton Carr, Eva Chen, Aidan Coughlin, William Horton, Sadia Islam, Rafinul Karim, Riley Marcheski, Cecilia Mendez, Julian Ramos Mendez, Michaela Renzi, Nathan Ritchie, Daniel Roberts, Sami Shabus, Matthew Sharp, Catherine Suarez, Tai Vu, JC Wagner, Madison Wall, and Joshua Wilkie. Our junior AP scholars, Ocean Alam, Ricky Baluya, Sage Barker, Sarah Bonney, Christopher Castro, Rachel Chen, Alexander Darpino, Grace Fenton, Crystal Johnson, Shannon Johnson, Emily Keith, Brett Koronek, Megan McNutt, Melissa Ritchie, Cameron Ruttero, Angela Trinidad, and Haley Welsh. Our senior AP scholars, Fahed Ben Alam, Zachary Collins, Joseph DeLuca, Megan Ferry, Bailey Malinowski, Vanessa Pino, and Sebastian Smith. Congratulations to all of our AP scholars. Our next student honorees are the College Acceptance All-Stars. The following seniors have been accepted to four or more four-year colleges and universities. Kelsey Brown, Matthew Carfagno, Zachary Collins, Darren Cooney, Megan Ferry, Sydney Hancock, Emma Kraft, and AJ Parent. Congratulations, College Acceptance All-Stars. 
The New Jersey STARS program is an initiative created by the state of New Jersey to provide the state's highest achieving students with free tuition at their home county college. New Jersey residents who rank in the top 15% of their class may be eligible to receive a New Jersey STARS award. The following seniors are this year's New Jersey STARS. The Haben alum. Andrea Baker, Cheryl Baker, Stephanie Barton, Chloe Bennett, Zachary Collins, Samantha Coyle, Gabrielle D'Onofrio, Jessica Elder, Megan Ferry, Sydney Hancock, Aaliyah Kershaw, Emma Kraft, Ashley Markowitz, David Olakambi, Vanessa Pino, Sebastian Smith, and Tiasia Stewart. Congratulations to our New Jersey stars. AVID, Advancement via Individual Determination, strives to close the achievement gap by preparing all students for college readiness and success in a global society. AVID students think critically, collaborate, and set high expectations to confidently conquer the challenges that await them. The following are our 2019-2020 AVID Distinguished Scholars. Juniors, Leah Hernandez and Angela Trinidad. Sophomores, Destiny Bartley, Esmeralda Herrera Morales, Kevin Mateo, Ashley St. Clair, and freshman, Roniel Baluya, Sitlali Morales, and Jennifer Morales. Congratulations to our avid distinguished scholars. Project Lead the Way provides pathways in computer science, engineering, and biomedical science that engage students in hands-on learning experiences and empower them to develop in-demand knowledge and skills needed to thrive in the global community. This year's Project Lead the Way award recipients are In Biomedical Science, Stephanie Barton and Danica Bennett. Introduction to Engineering, Ava Ipsen. In Principles of Engineering, Tai Vu. Computer Science Essentials, Chingus McKnight. And in AP Computer Science, Eva Chen and Nathan Ritchie. Congratulations to all of our Project Lead the Way Award recipients. And congratulations to all of our honored groups of students. To present our next award, once again, our principal, Mr. Sean Gorman. And now for our next award. Two years ago, we established an award that honors courage and perseverance in honor of the most extraordinary student I have come across in my professional career, Cassidy Vole. Cassidy is a senior at Gloucester High School who has battled childhood cancer since she was a student at Mary Ethel Costello School. She has undergone surgery after surgery and has never shown signs of having a bad day throughout her six years at Gloucester High. She is truly inspiring and someone that we are all beyond blessed to know. This year's recipient of the Cassidy Vole Award for Courage and Perseverance is only fitting that it goes to the class of 2020. We are so incredibly proud of the fortitude that you continue to show throughout these very challenging times. Your ability to remain strong, united, and optimistic is an inspiration to all of us. This is certainly a year that we will never forget. And class of 2020, you are beyond a doubt a class that we will never forget. Congratulations.
Thank you for enjoying our academic awards night with us. It is truly one of the greatest nights of every year. Have a wonderful evening, and as always, Go Lions!